Support Ukraine families and troops. Hi, I'm Amber Rain Davis from NotableInc.com. Welcome back to the channel. Colorado Craft Company has teamed up with Yanis Makula, our beloved Ukraine paper crafter, and created Ukraine's sunflower stamp and dies. All of the proceeds from these two products will go to helping Ukraine families and troops. I have more information about all of this on my blog, and I'll have a link to that down below and up at the top. I'm going to do some of the creating here, and then I'll get back to sharing. I have a 3x5 gel press, and I also have two Ranger alcohol pearls, one in Alchemy and one in Tranquil. Alchemy is the yellow one that I'm using now. There's a ball bearing on the inside of the container and you need to make sure that you shake the bottle vigorously in order to suspend the mica powder so that you can see all of the metallic goodness after you pull your print and use this product. Now I've used alcohol inks on my gel plates before, but this is the first time I've ever experienced any staining of my plate. And that happened with this alchemy color. It's the yellow alcohol pearl that I'm using. None of the other colors stained my plates and I've used all to alcohol inks, Ranger alcohol inks, and also my Copic marker refills. And I've never had any of them stain except for this alchemy Ranger color that I'm using right now. So I've put down some yellow and some blue. The blue is Tranquil um, Pearl alcohol ink. And I'm just using an air puffer to move some of this color around and also to mix the yellow and the green together because I have these leaves down at the bottom of the stamp. I did want some blue in the picture because of course the Ukraine colors are that bright yellow and beautiful blue but I didn't like how they were mixing into a green up at the top. So I'm just going to pull up some of that alcohol ink with a piece of deli paper. You could use a piece of um, copy paper or a tissue or anything else you might have on hand. So I'm gonna put more yellow up, up at the top here just based on how my stamp was looking when I held it over the gel plate. I needed more yellow at the top for that beautiful sunflower. So I'm just moving this around and whenever you're using alcohol ink on a gel plate, you want to make sure that it's completely dry before you add your acrylic paint. If you add your acrylic paint when the alcohol ink is wet, then it's just going to mix with that. So make sure it's completely dry and then add your alcohol, or I'm sorry, your acrylic paint. Here I lost all of that blue and I did want to add some of that back into the composition. So after those first two colors were dry, I added a little bit of blue around the edges and I'm trying to prevent it from mixing with the yellow to create that green. So I'm touching it to make sure it's dry. I have some white acrylic paint here and I'm going to add a thin layer. When you're adding your thin layer of paint, you want to be able to see what you have down on the plate through your paint. So you can see I put very little paint onto the surface here and I'm going to run my brayer over that in one direction, making sure that I lift the brayer, brayer in between each stroke. Now I can see I have a little too much paint on here. It's a little thick. So I'm going to off brayer onto the deli sheet, take some of that acrylic paint off and then I'm gonna roll the brayer towards me. That's gonna lift some of the paint away. And then I'll go ahead and put this down on my four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of Nina Classic Cross Solar White 110 pound cardstock. You can see that I have my gel plate adhered to a stamp mount. This is a four by six stamp mount and the gel plate is three by five, so it's a perfect fit. And it just helps me to pick it up and be able to use the gel plate like a stamp, which is how I prefer to use it. And you can see that I've let the cardstock sit on the gel plate for a little bit. I'm rubbing it to make sure that I've got good contact. I let the paper and the gel plate sit on top of the glass mat for a little bit because that also helps to adhere. It kind of traps the moisture in there and makes sure that you've got good adhesion. And once I feel like it's really settled into the paper, I'll go ahead and gently peel back the cardstock. And these alcohol pearls are just gorgeous, you guys. I was not able to show that in the photo, so I'm glad that the video was able to pick it up. You can just see all of that beautiful shimmer. Take a moment and like and subscribe down below if you haven't already and you're enjoying this video. 
So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my image here and I'm using um, Obsidian Pigment Ink. This one is from Altenew and I'm going to stamp this twice right on top of the gel print. So I love to watercolor and I love to Copic color, but I don't always have time to color a large image like this. So when I'm in a bind or I'm short on time, I'll just go ahead and color the background like I did here with a gel plate and a gel print and then I'll just stamp the image with no coloring at all on top of it. I love this three by five gel plate because it leaves this white area on the sides and I love the look of that. I love the look of a black and white image that's stamped partially on a colored background and partially on the black and white. I think it adds a beautiful contrast so this is a look that really appeals to me. If you wanted the entire background to be colored, then you would only need to use a larger gel plate. Maybe you have a six by six gel plate or an eight by 10, and you could color the background completely and stamp on top of that. You could also do some heat embossing, which is what we're gonna do in the next card. This is a brand new stamp and I neglected to um, condition it before I started so it's super super sticky and that's why I'm having to use all of that post-it note tape to make sure everything stays in place and I'll be honest I'm completely shocked that this stamp didn't shift um, and then I actually got the cardstock down exactly where it was like there's no double stamping here you guys it's a miracle because normally I double stamp <laughs> look at all of that shimmer though it's just gorgeous and like I said the pictures just don't do this card justice at all so for the sentiments I'm going to pull two sentiments from the stamp set and this set comes with five just really thoughtful sentiments I love the sentiments in this set in this set and I'm using peace and love and just keeping this card really simple because so much of the sunflower takes up the card do me a favor and leave me a comment down below if you know of any other alcohol ink colors that stain your gel plate. I think that'll be helpful for other people. Really, this alchemy one is the first one that I've come in contact with. And here's the staining I was talking about. So now I'm using denim alcohol ink. This isn't an alcohol pearl. This one doesn't stain. This is a beautiful denim blue color. And I'm just using it to create stripes. I wasn't really sure what design I was going for here, but it ends up working out perfectly with one of the sentiments in the set. So you'll get to see that in a second. Um, I always wondered what discolored people's gel plates and made it that kind of like grungy yellow color. And now I know. So again, make sure your alcohol ink completely dries. You can see I was drying it with my card panel there. I have Naples yellow light acrylic paint and then also some white acrylic paint here. And for a three by five gel plate, I've put on way too much paint here. The other make mistake I'm about to make is that I don't clean the white paint off my brayer before I go to the yellow. So there's gonna be very little yellow on this plate because I saturated the plate with white before I even got to the yellow. And you'll see that once I pull the print, but it's totally okay. It ends up working out. But if you want more yellow on your plate, make sure you clean your brayer in between going from one color to the next. So you can see I'm just taking some of that paint off. I'm grabbing another brayer because this one was putting a um, kind of like a seam down the middle there. And I took a lot of the paint off. And basically I'm what I'm after is making sure that I get these lines down. And I love the look of these lines, super organic looking. So again, you can see I'm just letting that sit with the cardstock in between the glass mat and the gel plate. That's gonna help to adhere the cardstock to the acrylic paint and make sure that I have good adhesion. And then I'm just gonna rub that. And I've left this in um, real time so that you guys can see um, it's not a lot of effort, but you do want to pay attention to making sure that you get good adhesion if you want to pull all of the paint in one go. If you're looking for more of a distressed look, then you can go ahead and pull it before your paint has really adhered. So you can see I have a little bit of the yellow up top. I like that I have a border all the way around, even though for the most part there's a lot of white space in the middle, and that's going to work out perfectly for this sentiment. This sentiment reads, rise above the storm and you will find the sunshine. So this is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna put the sunflower up at the top and this is a really um, nicely composed 
card, even though I didn't intend to create a storm or waves or anything like that at the bottom. I just happen to really like lines. In addition to Colorado Craft Company and Yanis Makula donating to the Ukraine, WOW Embossing Powder also is supporting peace in the Ukraine with their independent trio. All of the proceeds from their independent trio will support the Ukraine Humanitarian Appeal. This is a donation that will help support families and children. There are 11 million people that have already fled the conflict in the Ukraine, and they're predicted to be about 18 million people that are going to be displaced and leaving the Ukraine with only what they can carry. So these, all three of these avenues are a great way for us to get involved and donate and help out people and families and children and troops in the Ukraine. I inked up the stamp with the WOW embossing ink pad and in addition to using the independent trio, I'm also using Seth Apter's Just Desserts trio as well because I wanted to add a darker brown center and these coordinate perfectly with the independent trio. As always, I'll have all of the supplies linked down below. However, I do want you to know that the products that are being used for these fundraisers are not affiliate links. Those just go directly to the store. I would not want to put an affiliate link on those and take money away from the proceeds that are going to the Ukraine. So those are not affiliate links. Now I stamped the sentiment with a pigment ink, a black pigment ink, and that ink stays wet longer than dye ink. And you can see that I have a little bit of embossing powder on that R. I realize it, but I totally forgot to knock it off and brush it off with a dry paintbrush before I heat set it. The way that I fix that off camera is just to use a black fine liner and just draw right on top of that embossing powder and it cleans it up just fine. But ideally you would want to knock that off before you heat set it. So I wanted to darken up these petals a little bit. So here I'm bringing in Just Desserts French Toast. And I was thinking that I would just add it at the base of the petals, but I liked the mix of the two colors so much that I ended up adding it all over the petals. So all of the petals get this really bright yellow from the Independent Trio, and then also the French Toast from Seth Apter's Trio. I'll go ahead and heat set that. This card needed a little more oomph, so off camera, I grabbed two Copic markers and added a little color to the petals to give it more contrast and a little more brightness and color. Up in the right hand corner, I will put a link to my blog post. There is lots more information on my blog post about Colorado Craft Company, WOW, and also Yana Makula and how we can get involved and help support the Ukraine. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with more inspiration.